What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 26.2 RC2 to registered developers and to public beta testers. And this comes just a week after the release of iOS 26.2 RC1. Now we're going to talk about what's new in this update along with what to expect next as in the final release because we did not see any other software releases today, only iOS 26.2 RC2. So we'll talk about that in a moment, but let's start with the size and the build number for this new update. So you can see here on my iPhone 17 Pro Max, this update came in just over 500 megabytes. So it should be a relatively small update across the board for all devices. So let's go ahead and check out the new build number here for RC2. So if we head into our settings, general about the new build is 23C. 54. And if we go back and then go down to the modem firmware, that is still 1.20.06 for the iPhone 17 series. So no change there. Okay, so now what's new here with iOS 26.2 RC2? And as you could probably imagine, especially if you've been watching the channel for a while, anytime we get a second RC, there's almost never anything that's visually been changed. Typically, when we see a second RC, that is simply for Apple basically just getting the build number up to date and maybe patching a couple of existing back-end bugs. Typically, we don't really see anything that you could actually see change in an RC2. And usually, it's also to be, like I said, in line with other build numbers across the board because earlier, last week, we did see an RC2 for tvOS. But as far as anything else, we did not see a second RC, at least not yet. So that is interesting to see tvOS and iOS be the only ones to get a second RC2, especially when they were spread out. So anyway, yeah, nothing visually has changed here with this update. Now, I will say that one thing that was really interesting was how fast this update installed and downloaded on my device. This is probably the fastest beta I've ever had download and install on my device. So even though it was 500 megabytes, it was pretty much instantly at preparing updates and it installed in record time. So that's because, again, the build number is only two stops up. So it's, you know, 54 before it was 52 on the first RC. So that's kind of expected as well since it is such a minor update and this is preparing us for the final release which should be coming very soon and we'll talk about that in a moment but I do also want to mention that I did have an issue with offline lyrics on the first RC where they would not show up on you know when I was in airplane mode and when I was offline so now if I go into airplane mode right here you could see that since this album or since the song is not downloaded of course it does not show the lyrics are available however when I did have the song downloaded it would sometimes still not show the lyrics but that appears to be fixed here with iOS 26.2 RC2. I did test that on my main device over here, my 17 Pro, since that was where I was experiencing the bug the first time. Now, I will also say that you guys probably saw in my first RC video, I did have an issue where the app icons would not fully load, specifically with threads, and there were a couple of other applications on my other devices, but that appears to be fully fixed now. I mentioned that it was fixed in the RC1, and it did not come back here with RC2. So that is a good sign if you were having any type of visual bugs, especially related to app icons. And then also when it comes to CarPlay, a lot of people in my last video, my first RC video, did mention that their CarPlay issues were resolved. So if you want to make sure if you are on the RC2, just go into your car and check CarPlay and make sure you're not having any type of rebooting issues, any type of respringing issues, or anything related to that where maybe your CarPlay would disconnect frequently, things like that. If you had any of the bugs that you had beforehand, let me know in a comment down below. Or if those have all been fixed with RC2, let me know in a comment down below as well, because those should be better here with this build, if not just the same as RC1, which was good for CarPlay users. Now, Apple did also announce a couple of things today that I wanted to mention. So first off, they announced an expansion of the Apple Manufacturing Academy with new virtual training programs for small and medium-sized businesses across the U.S. And it says, designed by Apple experts, the free resource reflects the company's long-standing commitment to strengthening the country's advanced manufacturing sector. And then we did also see a new article on Apple's developer site that talks about how helping applications in Australia comply with the countrywide social media ban for kids. So it says that beginning on December 10th, a new Australian law will require certain social media platforms operating in Australia to prevent people under 16 from having a social media account. 
Impacted developers are responsible for making sure they follow the requirements of the new law, including deactivating any existing accounts for users under 16 and monitoring new signups. And then Apple mentions the tools that are there to help developers meet these requirements. So it talks about the age range API, the higher minimum age rating, all these different things right there. So if you are a developer, this is something interesting to note. And this was just published today. Now, also today, we saw some interesting news that switching between iPhone and Android is going to be easier with a new collaboration between Apple and Google. So today, a new Canary build of Android came out and it simplifies the data transfer between an iPhone and an Android. And also, it mentions that Apple is going to implement this functionality in an upcoming iOS 26 beta. So we're not seeing that in RC2 of 26.2, but we might be seeing that in iOS 26.3 beta 1 most likely next week when we see that get released. So that's interesting. And that is one new feature that we might be expecting to see in 26.3 beta one. Now, as far as the performance, stability and battery life with RC2, I actually scored over 10,000 on the multi-core again. That's only the second time I've scored over 10,000. I believe I got that after beta three, but RC1 did not even score that high. So performance might actually be better here in RC2. I'm not really thinking it's going to be a big difference whatsoever, but we do have higher scores there for multi-core and as far as single core goes you could see that's a little bit lower actually than the rc but the multi-core is a good a bit higher over 10,000. so that is good to see again that's only the second time i've seen over 10,000 on a multi-core score ever when doing these geekbench tests so the last time was right here on november 26th which was before the first rc so it's good to see that we get back over that 10,000 mark here with rc2 so again i wouldn't really expect a big change in performance but you might I see something minor on you know just overall just using your device now as far as stability goes i would also expect the stability to be a bit better here as well specifically with menus opening and things like that so of course when you open these menus there was some lag earlier on but i would expect those to be a little bit better here with rc2 and a little bit smoother i know some people were having issues though where all their menus would show up as frosted glass instead of liquid glass so if you're having that issue it is typically just a visual bug that can be resolved with a simple reboot. Now let's take a look at what to expect next from Apple because today we did get iOS 26.2 RC2 exactly as we expected last week. So if you guys watched my first RC video or if you watched my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday the 6th, I mentioned in both of those videos that we should be seeing an RC2 of iOS 26.2 on Monday and we should be seeing the final public release of iOS 26.2 48 hours later on Wednesday, December 10th. And that looks like everything is falling in line with exactly what we predicted so far. So with that in mind, we should be seeing the final public release of iOS 26.2 on Wednesday, December 10th, as we originally expected and predicted. So Apple's going to have a little gap there since we did just get an update today and most likely release it on Wednesday the 10th. Now it could possibly be pushed a week, but I don't think that's very likely. I think that's very unlikely for Apple to push it. I do think we're going to see 26.2 this week because next week, I think is when we're going to see the first beta of iOS 26.3 go out. Now that also could come a little bit earlier. It could also come this week, but typically Apple releases the next beta for the next version the following week after the release of 26.2. So we should be seeing that next week, most likely on Monday the 15th or Tuesday the 16th. And again, we will have that switching between Android and iPhone feature coming most likely in that first beta, or if not, maybe in a future beta of 26.3. And some people are still wondering if we're going to see a 26.1.1, but I can tell you right now that is definitely not coming. If we were going to see that, it was going to be at least two weeks ago, and we have no sign of that coming whatsoever. So I would expect iOS 26.2 to just be the next public release, which of course is two days away. So really no possibility of seeing a 26.1.1 tomorrow on the 9th. I think I just think that's a 0% possibility. So after that, we should see 26.3 and we should see that officially released to the public sometime in January, maybe even early February. And then we should be seeing 26.4, the big update. So iOS 26.4 is going to be one of the biggest iOS 26 updates, if not the biggest update aside from the 0 0.0 update. And we should be seeing that at some point in March. March. But that, of course, is for a later date. Make sure you keep it locked to the channel so you don't miss out when we start covering those betas here on the channel. But anyways, guys, that is iOS 26.2 RC2. I only made this 
video just to let you guys know it was out and just kind of talk through some things in terms of releases because there's been a lot of confusion especially on Twitter and on X a lot of people are asking me if we're gonna see this next week you know what's going on but this is exactly what was expected and hopefully that gives you some clarity on what to expect next from Apple so I did want to make this video just to cover that and also mention a few other issues but again overall you're not gonna see anything change with this second RC so I made that clear very early on in the video and I just want to reiterate now that don't expect any type of major change with RC 2 but of course I will cover all of the new features and changes in iOS 26.2 in my official what's new video which should be coming out on Wednesday so hope to see you guys there in that video but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video as always make sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the RC and the second RC and how it's running on your device but anyways guys thanks for watching and I'll see you soon